Hey, I'm Dan, and this is Dan's Planes. Here's an attempt at making a wing bag number two. The first one I did, I used aluminum HVAC tape to do all the seams. But this one, this is a simple one since it's a full wing. I just rolled out the roll of insulation, bubble wrap insulation. I left enough for a flap. Then I just rolled it out, creased it, rolled it back again, cut it off, again leaving room for a flap. Then I'm trying Elmer's glue on this. Elmer's glue can glue a lot of stuff, so it should work out, but I don't know if I have enough clips and sandbags to um, make sure that it's keeping connected. So I may have to do some touch-up uh, after it dries, but we'll see. I've also got a few other things I can put on there for weight. I'll do that. We'll see how she comes out. Well, after two uses, my glue, my Elmer's glue, is not adhering to this um, shiny, smooth aluminum. So I was concerned about that, but figured I'd give it a try since I had some extra Elmer's glue. So now I'm going to use some leftover aluminum tape that I have. The downside with this is if it starts to split, it easily splits. But I'm going to run that down both sides and we'll give that a try. Well, I've used the aluminum tape. And sure enough, that doesn't stick either. It keeps coming up. So, onward to 3M duct tape. Tried using Harbor Freight duct tape before, and unfortunately, it didn't stick worth a damn. Um, so I'm glad that I just wasted that aluminum tape. Um, should have enough tape here to do both sides of that. So let's get duct tape on it next. I was just hoping it would look nicer with the aluminum tape. Oh well, onward and upward, always learning. All right, there she is with duct tape. So we will see how that holds. I probably should have tried to pull off the aluminum tape considering that's not sticking in some spots. Um, but we'll see anyway. I'm not sure the sewing machine I have that it would be able to go through this thick material, but I may have to experiment with that. I have to use up this roll, which is aluminum on both sides, um, before I get into my big roll in that tall box. That roll has aluminum on one side and then has white plastic on the other, and you can hot iron the white to white plastic you can't iron anything to the aluminum because, again, it's sticky. I'm sorry, it's uh, slippery and also aluminum oxidizes. So uh, that's that. I couldn't find a small roll that was half aluminum, half white at the time. So just bought that one before I bit the bullet and bought the big one. So that concludes this experiment for a wing bag. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dan from Dan's Planes. I just want to share some content about RC planes, something I've been passionate about since childhood. I'm hoping I can teach something to someone. I can start some discussion and learn some things from others. So let's just have some fun and learn some things together. If you enjoyed what you watched, it would really help me out if you could like, subscribe, and share. And if you feel that it helped you out in some way, or it might help future viewers, I'd really appreciate it if you'd visit my Patreon page and become a patron. It's like throwing a dollar tip into a guitar case when you pass by. It helps to, to fund future content and future projects that I'll be working on. I plan to show some past content. I have some other flights and I have some fly-in events that I've been to. And I also plan to show future flights and future repairs 
as well as building ARFs and if I can ever get back to it, building my top flight uh, Spitfire. So there's a lot of content to come, but it's, it's viewers like you that are able to support what I'm doing. And by doing that, I'm able to spend more time creating that content in the future. So I'd really appreciate it. But either way, thanks for watching and thanks for any support. And I wish you blue skies and good speed.